Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be showing you part one of my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul, um, which is happening right now. Um, it's The sale started off on June the 3rd, uh, which was on a Saturday. And normally, um, usually the first day of the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works, my husband tends usually uh, is working on that day uh, but this time around um, he was not working and he was able to join me which was really uh, fun we had such an amazing day we had a fun day together uh, we just made a day out of it um, it was a a beautiful day uh, that day um, we got up super early uh, we took our time. We actually ended up going to our local mall um, here in Guelph, uh, Ontario. We went to Stone Road Mall. Um, usually the mall opens up earlier than the store. Uh, Bath & Body Works uh, opens at 10 a.m. So we were able to um, peek through their metal gates uh, while the store was closed to just to see what was available um, before we grabbed some coffee and drink at the uh, um, Starbucks in the mall and I was we were really excited there were there were Christmas candles and um, yeah my husband uh, was excited especially to see Christmas candles um, so that's what he picked up mainly um, I only picked up one candle, um, and I was actually wanting more to pick up the um, some fine fragrance mists. Um, now, yeah, so we were able to walk around the mall a couple of times. We went to our local Starbucks. Uh, I ended up getting a um, a Vente um, black uh, iced tea which was unsweetened. I'm really loving unsweetened iced tea uh, this summer. Um, and my husband just got a coffee and uh, he got something to eat. I was just fine with the, uh, my iced tea. Um, yeah, so we had a great day. Um, after the sale, we went grocery shopping and just came home. And uh, yeah, it was just a beautiful day. We ended up um, sitting on our balcony for a while um yeah so um i'm also going to show you guys what my husband picked up in terms of body care as well um also the candles that he uh, picked up so this is a combined haul um so um my thoughts with the sale um i think this is a bit for me this is a better sale in comparison to the last um winter sale that we had uh, back in December. Um, I'm finding a, a lot more products and a, and a couple gems actually. And uh, yeah, so which I will show you guys um, in, in other haul videos I have for Bath & Body Works. Um, but um, yeah, so when we went back to the store, there was maybe like about, I would say, about 10 people waiting outside the door before they opened up the gates. Um, and um, it was really cute that uh, the store clerks, were, every single one of them was wearing pride colors, so which was really cute. So And uh, everybody seemed really happy, and everybody seemed to have, enjoy each other. Now, the store was busy, but it wasn't like overwhelming like the last... Uh, semi-annual sale that happened in in the winter uh, on Boxing Day um, so yeah and um, we had a great time and uh, now I noticed some differences uh, between the Canadian stores and the US stores um, like for example the Sip and Surf uh, collection here in Canada the ones with the uh, striped straws I had showed you um, in the mist in, in a previous video. That collection was actually part of a sale here in Canada 
where I believe in the States it was not. So there was some kind of, there were some differences. It was like, so I've noticed it's like Canada versus US. So um, yeah, so, and uh, vice versa. Like, for example, in the US, I know for the semi-annual sale, they had some blended candles, three wick candles that they had released. Uh, here in Canada, we did not get any of that, um, which was a bummer, but that's okay. Um, and uh, yeah, like some yeah, like some products were on sale here, and some products were not on sale, in it, or not part of the sale in the U.S. And like I said, vice versa, which is kind of weird. Um, and shopping at uh, the semi-annual sales kind of it's kind of weird with the pricings. Um, of course, I live here in Canada, so I do shop at the Canadian stores. Uh, usually the prices are slightly higher than the U.S. stores. So um, for the body care um, or the new releases like the 90s collection and the groovy collection and the salt shack collection, which I will show you, um, was part of the sale. So here in Canada, the first day was $4.95, uh, where I believe in the U.S. it was like only like 50% off, which is kind of odd. But anyways, um, so yeah, so there are some price differences there. Uh, and of course, of what's available. So um, with the sale, it's a good idea to go um, at least once a week to see what is out there at the stores because every day you'll find something different. Um, and I found a, a couple gems. Um, with a couple of uh, visits and uh, yeah, you just never know. Um, so yeah, we had a really fun day and uh, I was really satisfied of what I had purchased. So I'm gonna get into it, enough of my babbling. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what my husband had picked up in terms of body care. Um, he picked up this um, body cream. This is the Brown Sugar and Fig. This is part of their 90s collection, which was released um, the last semi-annual sale. Um, and uh, again, this was $4.95. Actually, no, actually, this was 75% off, believe it or not. So yeah, um, so he picked that up, um, which I'm really surprised. Um, he tends to like more uh, sweeter, uh, scented body care um, so um, so but he actually just finished up with a vanilla mocha martini uh, in the body cream not, and which lasted him for quite some time since uh, Christmas so um, but anyways uh, so he picked up that one and I do have the mist in that one as well which I did pick up um, the last sale so, and he also picked up Sweet Pea. Yeah, I was really surprised he picked up Sweet Pea. But he does like this one. Um, and he also picked up a couple of uh, shower gels in, in another visit at the store. He picked up um, Strawberry Pound Cake uh, in this packaging. Um, I believe this was available in one of their gift sets. But they just separated the gift sets. Um... The items within the gift sets to sell separately so yes this is strawberry pound cake uh, I do have this in a mini um, the notes are fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream so it's a very gourmand uh, scent uh, he also picked up a shower gel and sweet pea so I've never tried sweet pea in the shower gel but um, and uh, the scent notes for this is Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, and Sheer Freesia. So yes, um, those are the two shower gels he had picked up. And the body care. Um, now he did pick up uh, four three-wick candles that were um, on sale. Uh, the first one he had picked up, um, it's a Christmas candle. Uh, this one is sugared snickerdoodle this was released last year i believe 
but we did not see this at our store. Um, or I, I don't know, I guess it was sold out really quickly. But uh, the scent notes for this one is warm spice, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. So that's, that's a sugared snickerdoodle. Uh, the next one he had picked up um, was Marshmallow, Marshmallow Fireside, which is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I stock up on this every year. I like to burn this one um, throughout the year. So I wish this was available all year round because I definitely love it. Um, the notes for this one is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. So that's marshmallow fireside. Um, <clears throat> the next one he had picked up is smoked vanilla whiskey. The scent notes for this one is dark oak bourbon reserve um, smoked vanilla. So that's smoked vanilla whiskey. And the last one, I, I was really surprised that this was found at the store. Um, I saw this this candle during the last winter uh, semi-annual sale, but for, I put it down. I did not pick it up. This is my husband's new obsession with um, with her with candles. Um, unfortunately. He was only to pick up. He only picked up one because I think this was the only one that was available that day. Um, wine cellar. Sorry about the glare. Um, the scent notes for this is mulled apples, fresh fig, cedarwood. Um, so this one smells like the oak barrels um, that you find in a, a wine cellar. So it's got like a smoky kind of vibe. It's really good. I can't wait to um, burn this. So that's a wine cellar. That was a good find. Uh, <clears throat> so that is my husband's haul. On to my haul. So I picked up one Christmas candle. Uh, this was $11 actually. They're normally uh, $27.50 as I mentioned. Uh, and they were this one was 60% off. Um, so again, this is another difference between the U.S. and Canada. Here in Canada, uh, I think they were like 60% off. Like, um, and uh, whereas in the U.S., I believe the Christmas candles that were available were like 75% off. Um, so I hear some some people are buying them up for six dollars at their store, um, which is amazing. Um, now, um, I know the Christmas candles at my local store were sold out within a day. That's what, what one of my, uh, one of the store clerks had been mentioned to me that they were sold out, uh, of the Christmas candles that they had. Um, and, um, actually surprisingly, my local store, they had their fall, the new fall candles there that's up up and coming so we were able to have a sneak peek of the new fall um, candles um, yeah and uh, but unfortunately they were a full price so obviously we didn't get any of those uh, but um, but it was an, it was nice to um, sniff um, <clears throat> now I'm sorry about the noise in the background my cat Sophia is playing uh, so if you hear some noise, that's what, that's what you hear, it's just my cat playing uh, with her, um, it's like a, hard to describe it, but it's like a, it's a flat toy with like a scratching post or like a scratching pad and it's got like a little ball <clears throat> in a ring, so she loves playing with that. Um, so, sorry about the noise in the background. But anyways, uh, the one candle I had picked up that day was Vanilla Bean Noel. I love this scent. This uh, scent from Bath & Body Works is very controversial. A lot of people don't like this candle or don't like this fragrance. They think there's no fragrance. I personally think this is one of my favorites. I do smell... Um, this candle it's quite strong 
actually. It's going to be a strong one. Um, <clears throat> I do have this in, in body care. On me, it's quite strong. And I do, this one is normally the lighter um, scented um, fragrances from Bath and Body Works in terms of the Christmas traditions. Um, a lot of people call this uh, vanilla bean no smell, but I do love it. Like I said, the I do have the body spray in this, and it does smell quite strong on me. I can, and or it was at least stronger. Um, the last release of Vanilla Bean Noel, but <clears throat> guys, I've never had this in a candle. So yeah, I picked one up um, to burn. Um, and the notes for this one is fresh vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, vanilla cake. So I. I'm happy that I picked this one up. <clears throat> so again, that is the only candle I had picked up. Uh, next, I'm going to show you guys the fine fragrance mists I had picked up. Again, each of these were $4.95 here in Canada. So uh, the first one I had picked up um, was part of their um, uh, returning favorites from the 90s. Uh, every year for the semi-annual sale, uh, Bath & Body Works likes to bring back um, certain fragrances from the, from the past. Um, <clears throat> so I was really excited that this one was coming out. Um, I used to wear this fragrance uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, it was this one, uh, Country Apple and Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which came on late, which was released later on, I believe. But... This one I absolutely love. Some people, there's some people that don't like it, but I love this this uh, fragrance and I, I'm really glad that they had picked it up. Um, I really love the apple note in this. Uh, this is Plumeria. Um, the scent notes for this is pink Plumeria, which is a flower, by the way. Uh, peach nectar, red apple, Night Blooming Jasmine Gardenia Petals. Um, in the Fine Fragrance Mist, I don't get much of the Gardenia note. I, I get more of the Apple note, <clears throat> at least on my skin. This one, funny enough, it reminds me of Salon Selectives. I don't know, I don't know if you guys remember that shampoo, Salon Selectives. It was very Apple-based. Uh, which funny funny enough, I used to wear I used to use um, <clears throat> salon selectives in my younger years. So and I I still like it, but I find like it doesn't smell the same as it used to. <laughs> so I did I did purchase salon selectives months and months ago from um, Dollar Tree, and and I used it. it wasn't the same. So I don't know if they changed the formula, but. Yeah, this is what this reminds me of, uh, Salon Selectives, uh, and uh, I'm happy to have that back in my collection. I used to have this in a smaller mist, uh, but obviously I, I used all that up years ago, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have that back. Uh, next, um, this one is called Groovy Watermelon. The <clears throat> I love the bottle. It's the the uh, packaging it's got this like 60s 70s vibe going on um <clears throat> this is actually a repackage of pink watermelon blast from last year so if you guys missed out on that they have it this year it's just that they repackaged it and also renamed it um as i mentioned before bath and body works is very notorious of repackaging products and renaming them but this is what this is it's pink watermelon blast um, the set notes is, is juicy pink watermelon sugared strawberry blossoms lime zest um, so again groovy watermelon and <clears throat> next um, this is a 90s collection that was also released uh, this is part of the salt shack uh, collection uh, this is a, a gourmand scent, uh, scented um, fine fragrance mist. Uh, this one is called Fruity Sherbet Scoop. 
Um, I love the packaging. It just reminds me of Saved by the Bell. I don't know if you guys remember watching Saved by the Bell back in the 90s, but that's what the packaging reminds me of for some reason. Um, you sent notes for this one is Rainbow Sherbet or sh Sherbert. Uh, I'm guys, I'm so used to calling I know they ha they had a lot of people pronounce it as Sherbet. I <clears throat> pronounce it as Sherbert. <laughs> like so but um anyways, uh so uh these again the scent notes are sh Rainbow Sherbet, Zesty Orange, Sun-Kissed Strawberry. Um this one is I've a strawberry scented um, fine fragrance mist, but I do get the citrus note in this. Um, I like, I really like this one. Uh, in the collection, they do have another one called Whip Coconut Milkshake, which I did purchase, uh, which I will show you in another video. And they also had another one that goes on goes with this collection. I think it's called. Ooh, um, uh, I think it's called, oh, it's like a mar it's like a cotton candy clouds, I think it's called. I did not purchase that one. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of cotton candy. Um, so um, I did not pick that one up, um, but I do like this one. Um, <clears throat> this is Fruity Sherbet or Sherbet. Um, the Great Find, um, I had uh, purchased that I that I found that day. Um, was this a fine fragrance mist? This one is going to be discontinued um, and it is almost discontinued. Um, they'll, Bath and Body Works is no longer selling this in their store. Um, <clears throat> and uh, when I saw this and at the 75% off uh, table, I had to pick it up. I snatched it right up uh, and I can't believe I was sleeping on this uh, fine fragrance mess for so long. I've seen it numerous times at the store, um, but uh, I, I kept passing on it, uh, thinking I wouldn't like it, but I actually do like this one a lot. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm happy to have this back, have this in my collection now. <clears throat> Better late than never. This one is called Fairy Tale. Um, I love it. Um, the scent notes for this one is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossoms, vanilla bean, and warm amber. Um, <clears throat> so this one, um, I really smell the amber note in this one. Um, it's a great trans transitional um, fragrance to wear from summer to fall. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so yeah, I really love this one. I'm happy to have that now in my collection. Um, <clears throat> next one, speaking of the 90s, um, this one is called Sun Ripened Raspberries. Um, Bath and Body Works had released this one, um, the last semi-annual sale that took place in the winter. Um, <clears throat> and this one was um, part of the Brown Sugar and Fig collection as well. And there was also Pearberry. <clears throat> I was hoping to find Pearberry uh, at my store, but they did not have that. They only had the brown sugar and fig and the sun ripened raspberry. Um, <clears throat> the scent notes for this one is sun ripened uh, raspberry, strawberry leaves, and sugar crystals. I find this is a great one to have. Um, it's a good trans transitional um, fine fragrance ha to have from summer to fall. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this is part of, I guess, I categorize this part of uh, my fall collection. Um, <clears throat> but you can wear that all year, all year round if you want, right? So anyways, uh, the next one is Poppy. I love this one. Um, I've liked this one for a long time. Um, this is my first time picking it up. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is going to be discontinued. This was 75% off at my store. Um, <clears throat> and, um, yeah, when, when, this, when this was released, um, this w was released, I believe, 
last year, I believe, in, in August. Um, so it was, um, <clears throat> it was later on in the summer. So um, I'm really surprised this is being discontinued. Um, now, again, like Fairy Tale, I'm not sure if this is going to be like an online exclusive, but it's not going to be sold in the stores anymore. Um, <clears throat> I was so smelling this the other day, uh, I, uh, and um, I did wear this, um, and I could not put my finger on it, what this reminds me of. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of figured it out. Um, this one reminds me of... Calvin Klein's Escape. I used to wear uh, the perfume, um, Calvin Klein's Escape, back in the 90s. I know you can find that perfume now at Walmart for really cheap. But at the time, obviously, I had to go to, like, um, the Bay or the Shoppers Drug Mart. And it was a lot more expensive then to, to pick it up. Yes, that's my cat, Sophia. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyways, uh, she's running around. Um, so this is Poppy. I love this one. Again, it's a good transition from summer to fall. I may even get it back up to this. Um, the scent notes for this is Fresh Morning Dew, Wild Poppy, Sugared Rhubarb, and ju Juicy Pear. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, for for this one, um, yeah, I kept seeing in, I kept seeing that one in the stores. Um, I, will, I always wanted to pick it up, but there was always something else I would pick up instead of this one. Um, but I'm happy to have it now. So, and uh, like I said, I may even get a backup of that one um, because, like I said, this is going to this is being discontinued. Um, <clears throat> and the final fine fragrance mist I had picked up is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Um, <clears throat> this goes with the um, watermelon mojito collection and the blue and the um, golden mango lagoon um, fine fragrance mist. I have. Um, <clears throat> I love the packaging. This is a repackage. Actually, they've had this scent before. Um, on the first day, actually, on the seventy-five percent um, table, uh, along with this one, they even had the old packaging from I would say the year before um, <clears throat> I I wanted to pick up this version because I actually like the packaging more so I think it's prettier but um, anyways the notes for this one is sweet pink pineapple palm sugar sun drenched nectar so that's pink pineapple sunrise um, <clears throat> now that is my haul. That's part one. Um, sorry about my babbling and um, hope everybody's doing well and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye now.